Irish First Lady slams Meghan as the Duchess tried to steal the spotlight with rude behavior during the tour. Meghan Markle has worked 72 days as a senior member of the royal family since marrying Prince Harry, and she's the only member of the royal family to have broken a ton of royal rules, both official and unofficial. Moreover, almost all of those royal duties Meghan and Harry failed to seriously and completely. That's why criticism is still being made so far. Behind the scenes, it was a different story. Although she enjoyed the attention, Meghan failed to understand the point of all those walkabouts shaking hands with countless strangers, according to several members of staff, she was heard to say on at least one occasion, I can't believe I'm not getting paid for this. A video today of a meeting the Irish president four years ago, and narcissism is next level. The First Lady is not happy with Meghan when the Duchess is constantly uncooperative when interacting. You can see the First Lady's discreet irritation when Meghan ignores the President's words, rudely jumps over the dog, and the way she purposely gets in the middle of the frame to take a picture, besides a mask slip. When she was patting the dog, someone said something. I think Harry, the Irish President's wife, is onto her so it's quite literally physically directing her to where she should stand multiple times. And Megan wouldn't budge. She was obstinate. She even refused to stand in the order that they wanted for the main press photo. The president reached to Harry, pulled him over to his left-hand side, and the first lady moved Megan to hers. So right to left it's the president, Harry, first lady, and Megan. But Megan wouldn't have it and the footage cut briefly and returned with Meghan standing in the middle and everyone looking quite uncomfortable. And the moment she refused to stand at the end has been scrubbed from any footage from the event. That's how embarrassing it was for everyone involved. Meghan was so rude, and all that footwork jumping over the dogs, pointing here and there, and playing dumb was so classless. Where to stand? Stand here? What? Knowing full well she wanted the center, the president kept saying after they'd rung the bell, but Megan didn't like it. Her face did that weird thing where it suddenly changed, and she dropped the fake smile and the evil eyes compressed lips. Then the film suddenly cut out from the bell, to be in front of the building, saying goodbye before leaving. Thankfully for the Irish president and his wife, they seemed so easygoing that it was quickly diffused and wasn't as tense as I first thought. After that, when they were walking down the gravel, you can see the president's wife holding Megan by the hand, and she was visibly uncomfortable with it because her shoulder was raised on one side and her arm was tense. Since moving from the royal family to the United States, the couple had been in a row of controversy. Prince Harry was set to lose another royal role as the deadline for him and his wife Meghan to vacate Frogmore Cottage past the historic Grade 2 listed building was a base in the UK for the Sussexes since their wedding in 2018. A royal expert explained that Harry could no longer act as a counselor of the state as he didn't have a home in the UK. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told The Sun, Losing the UK home without a replacement was a huge deal. The most important aspect, as far as Harry was concerned, was that he meant he could no longer act as a counselor of state. That's hugely important because, in theory, he had the right, in the event of the king being incapacitated. To do that, the counselors of the state carried out official duties of the sovereign, such as signing documents. The current councillors of state are the Queen Consul at the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Sussex, the Duke of York, and Princess Beatrice.